how to publish Figma Design 2 website. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can share and embed the Figma designs into your website. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to go to figma.com then sign in for an account. Within the sign in you will see this uh, dashboard and with this dashboard you are going to create either a, a new design or you can go ahead and select any design that you have. In the sake of the video I am going to create a new design. Go ahead and click on a new design file. You are going to see here a blank page that will help you create your own design. Either you go ahead and select any assets. For example, we have some iPhone or iOS assets, iPads and etc. You can go ahead and insert this, click on agree and it will insert the iPhone frame like this. You can go ahead and see in the full size or either go ahead and select your own frames. For example, let's go ahead and, and create a rectangle like this. I'm going to create a rectangle with the uh, width and length that I want. You can adjust the right width and length from here like that. I'm going to put here, for example, 720. This is a YouTube frame or a horizontal image frame. So Let's say that we are going to seat the color with the fill. Go ahead and select the color from there. I'm going to put it this one and I'm going to set another design. Go ahead to the shapes. You can create a line, for example, or another rectangle or place an image or video. I'm going to place an image and then we are going to set something. Let's say that I want to add a design for my product. I'm going to add my product. Go ahead and click on it. Uh, adjust the image. I'm going to set this 1280 by 720 like that. And for the image, you can go ahead and custom uh, custom it. For example, we have the exposure and etc. Or you can do the reverse thing before adding your image, add another rectangle like that and make it a specific for your image. Go ahead and put it like that. I'm going to put a square 500 by 500 maybe like this. I, I'm going to select it and add my image into it. Go ahead again and add it like that. You can adjust it later if you want to make it wider or stretch it and make it like this. I'm going to add some uh, lines right there. I'm going to create my line like that. Go ahead and create it. I'm going to adjust it like this and make it to the border of this one. Either you can go ahead and put a stroke to it like that. I'm going to put it on blue and here we have it. And also you can go ahead and make it maybe wider or like that. Here we have the type of the uh, line. We have non arrow line and etc. And here we have the, uh, as you can see the width or I'm going to put like that. This is the width of the line, put it maybe 10 to make it appear like that, that it is a outline can go ahead and uh, make some uh, or add or duplicate it. I'm going to create uh, some multiple lines right there. Go ahead and create it like that. And another one right there. I'm going to create it like this. And the final one, I'm going to create it right here. Let's go ahead and put this like that. Connect them together and there the width will be the same. Go ahead and make the width for for them like that and this one also for this. Go ahead and select these lines and make the color to the same one. I'm, I'm going to select a color and from that color I'm going to copy it. Go ahead and copy that color code. So make it a little bit like this, this line like that. 
and for this one the color is going to be like that and finally the last one which is this i'm going to put it also this blue here we have the frame the image and everything you can add either uh, a text for example or you can add some elements finish the, the, this by clicking on done and add a text like that put it as a heading i'm going to put here cool like that cool chain chain like that uh, let's say cool chain customization customizable for example customizable and then we have the text you can put it for example like that select all the text go ahead and put it like this maybe and also you can go ahead and select the uh, font from there we have here a regular and you can also adjust it to the middle maybe like that and here we go the color you can change it for example to this blue or this it is up to you you can go ahead and make it like this and you can also underline it or put a stroke on it for example you can go ahead and put a stroke i see the difference you can add some effects some drop shadow and here we have it this is a very cool and now i'm going to add another text zone to put some description maybe description let's put, let's put here this description about the product product figma is used for the designs it is a very cool and also it is set to put uh, the unlimited designs to your websites or to your integration within phones it is a ui slash ux platform for design it is only needing a code to make everything work well and then you can go ahead and integrate it as an app or a layer or a layout for your website or your app now here we have everything set you can add for example some buttons uh, you can add whatever you want for example i am going to put here a rectangle let's go ahead and put something like this like that put it to the middle and for the fill i'm going to put it this blue maybe or maybe the color of the same one go ahead and put it like that and this is it and you can add a text for example by now add a text by now like that by now i'm going to delete that t go ahead and make that text to the box and here we have it you can either also select these and put them together like that by now for there and there and now to publish this on your website we have two options either you go and select any of these elements for example you can go ahead and select all of these but the writing or the text will not show up and simply export them as a png or something like that select everything by clicking on Control a and we have the option to export it we have here the png the gpg svg or pdf let's try the png here we have 10 layers we can go ahead and open these layers and see what do we have we have the buy now button or text and we have the uh, text which is customizable also you can add all of these as frames and i'm going to let you see here the rectangle rectangle 2 it has the object and rectangle 3 you can either go ahead and select all of these files and uh, implement them into your website as images because the text is transferred into an image i will let you see here a example let's say that we are going to set something like like this go ahead and add them together to your website it will be uploading all the files right there and you can go ahead and see them from the text and also from the frames or you can add them manually here we have the image here we have the borders the lines as you can see these are the lines we have the button 
and also we have the rectangle that we have created and everything is set up this is the first method it is a little bit tiring but what are you gonna do if you want to make something better and the second method is very easy and much simpler but it is not fully customizable within your website you are going right there back to the design click on the share button and from that you have multiple options go ahead and click on get embed code and you are going to set this code copy it simply go back to your website and create something for it i'm going to create a new section or an empty section for us go ahead and select a blank section this is for the wex website uh, example i will let you see also how you can do that on squarespace go ahead and click on add elements from that you are going to select embed code embed html and here make sure that it is selected to code go ahead right there paste the code click on update and wait for a few seconds you can see here that the figma logo has been uh, appearing and here we have the design you can go ahead and see it and this is the same design implemented within wix you can do the same thing for squarespace all you have to do go to squarespace select the website click on edit and there we are going to select or add a empty section and click on add block right there we have a menu select embed and track your make your embed right there click on the pen tool which is edit make it as a code snippet and there you are going to click on selected embed data add the code right there and wait for a few seconds until it will load up as you can see the design is present with us within uh, squarespace that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one